adverse health effects. We haven't made those correlations yet. And that's just the surface there. Can I answer any questions for you? That's a good report. Next item is the call to the public. You've filled out one of these forms. I'm sure you've read it. And we'd appreciate it if you comply with the suggestions for limiting your time and also the decorum that would be required. I think we'll start with the, alphabetically, we'll start with uh, Mr. Consolato. Good evening, James Consolato, <clears throat> Golden Valley District 2, very, very, very concerned citizen. Um, not complicated questions today. Uh, I don't know how your meeting laws work, but I have the same questions I had last time. Um, I'm wondering if Mrs. Sockwell would be <clears throat> tell us what she can do, why she uh, has been become part of the board, and um, what her experience and qualifications are. Um, and we're still curious, did she fill out the uh, regular application form? And we request again a copy of that. Um, we're also in, interested in some sort of outline of the indicative duties of board members on the Board of Health. Um, I also propose the resolution that the um, Board of Health advertise any future appointments for 30 days so concerned qualified citizens can participate and uh, request to be appointed. Uh, the final thing was I requested an ad hoc committee according to your bylaws. That would take um, <clears throat> one year is what your bylaws say. And that would focus um, entirely on the issue that was just covered. Um, that seemed to be a pretty thorough report. Um, however, I think that due to the uh, public health risks involved and um, the ongoing um, chemtrails, if you will, um, this concern should not be uh, finalized tonight. And I would still like to be on your mailing list. And thank you for your time tonight. Hey, and I still have a minute that I'm going to give back to you guys. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. DeSico. Good evening. Alan DeCicco, DeCicco, however you want to say it is fine. And I'm here mainly to talk about what's in my blood and what's in the blood of 20 people. Um, what I just heard was really interesting if you're in high school. But for your information, geoengineering also known as chemtrail, is taking place globally, and there are millions of people, uh, scientists, doctors, that know what's going on. So to sit here and listen to this is an extreme insult to my research and my own intelligence. I graduated from college many years ago. I had my barium tested after watching the film, What in the World Do They Sprang? And has anybody been looking at the skies here today? because it went from clear blue for many days, and now we've got crisscrosses all over the sky. My barium was 150 in February. Now it's 190. I also have low blood platelets, um, which is a problem with clotting, okay? I also have rainwater. If anybody would like to volunteer to drink some. Anybody want to drink some rainwater? It has aluminum in it. I'm going to tell you how much it has in it. 321 parts per billion, 7.4 for barium, and 5.5 for strontium. Trevor Bajori of the Department of Environmental Quality says this is safe to drink. Anybody want to drink some? I don't. I don't drink the tap water. I don't eat those nuts that she referred to. I don't work in mining. I stay at home, I am disabled, and getting more disabled because of what is in our atmosphere. Okay, now this is going to end up in litigation, just so you understand me. 
Everybody here is going to be held accountable, including the DEQ and including the State Health Department. Something wrong is going on. You need to look at Public Law 105-85. Google it. We have all given consent for our government to do testing on us, and they are doing it. That is why cancer, diabetes is off the charts, and many other diseases. I didn't come to Golan Valley to die, but that's what I see when I walk around this town and see elderly and young people that look like walking zombies. Everybody's got heart problems, lung problems. You all are sick. How many here have gotten their blood tested? Are you telling me this blood test is a farce from a laboratory and from my doctor? Here's, a, here's another thing I want to tell you too. I was told that uh, my doctor was being contacted and he was going to send me to a toxicologist. Well, he doesn't know anything about it. He said he was told that they informed him to send us to the poison control. Well, we've done that back in February. So what's going on here? Please stop that. I'd like to hear some answers to my questions, not just testimony. Specific answers. Who wants to drink the water? Anybody want to raise their hands? Excuse me, sir, but your time's up. Well, extend it. You can extend it. Okay, she spoke for 20 minutes with a high school uh, chemistry class. There's a lot more information out there than that. This is terrible, and you are all being affected by this, and you better wake up, look up, and realize what's being dumped upon us. Do your research and turn off the TVs, all of you. This is for real. Our own government, the United Nations, is making us sick, and you better wake up. You, sir, doctor, you have a public responsibility to look into this instead of listen to this. This is terrible. I want some answers. Let's hear it. We're not going to respond. Why? Why won't you respond? This is the public health board. I'm sick. You're supposed to help. Let's hear it. Who wants to drink the water? The DEQ says this is safe to drink. Does anybody want to drink some rainwater? Nobody's raising their hands. My time is up. My time might be up very soon, as well as many other people. You better really start using your noodle, what it was made for. Don't just watch TV and take this kind of propaganda to put down the research of scientists for 15 years. Thank Thanks you. for the extra time, okay? Thank you. I want some answers in writing. Thank you.